Tower, bucket 316, go around. Bucket 316, squawk VFR, make left close traffic, go in 9-11. VFR, left close traffic, 9-11, bucket 316. My name is Bevan, I'm with At Bet Aviation, as most of you guys know. You might be new to the channel, or you might be a veteran, which I love the most. I love all of you, I'm just kidding. Today I'm taxiing out to spot five. We're at Orlando Sanford International, and I'm going to teach you guys uh, how to fly the perfect traffic pattern. Uh, the pattern altitude in Sanford is 1,000 feet, just so you know, and uh, I'm just going to teach you basic power settings and speeds that you might want to uh, incorporate into your traffic pattern that just helps gives you gives you the same uh, good result every time. What you want to see when you're on final is you want to see two white over two red or whatever the VASI is or PAPI is. Make sure you're exactly on glide path. So we're going to go head over to spot five and do a quick run up. All right, so the pre-takeoff checklist is complete. We do have some to-go items, but we'll address those later after we talk to ground. Ground has given us our clearance today. So here I go, I'm going to request close traffic. Sanford ground, Pipe Archer 2326, Victor, spot 5 with Papa, requesting closed traffic. 2326, Victor, Sam ground, runway 9 at center, taxi via Charlie Lima. Charlie Lima, 9 center, 26 Victor. All right, so he gave us our taxi. I've got my taxi diagram up. You always want to make sure you have that up when you are taxiing the airplane. Clear left, clear right. Now with the traffic pattern, you're going to have five different legs. You're going to have your upwind leg which is the first when you're taking off. And then you're going to turn crosswind, and then you're going to turn downwind, base, and final. And then when on final, our ultimate goal is to see two white over two red. We don't want to be too high, we don't want to be too low. The winds are calm, so this is actually a perfect day for this, for me to show you guys this. I mean, really, something like the traffic pattern is so simple, but you'd be surprised how many people really just don't know. I'm going to stop here, we're lined up. For nine center at Lima, so I'm gonna I put, turn my landing light off and always apply my brake, okay? Then I'll flip my tower up. Boom. Tower right, right, left on Lima. Okay. Fine. Now the flow Fine. for Fine. takeoff Fine. is Fine. gonna be Fine. all my lights Fine. on, Fine. so strobes, position lights, landing light, fuel pump, mixture full rich. Those are about to go items from the pre-takeoff checklist. Sanford Tower, Piper Archer 2326, Victor holding short of 9 Center at Lima, ready for departure. Archer 2326, Victor Sanford Tower, make right close traffic, runway 9 or right, runway 9 or center, clear for takeoff. 9 Center, clear for takeoff, right close traffic, 9 right, 26 Victor. So I did everything forward, mixture ridge, clear left, clear right. Brakes are released, 9 Center is verified at Lima, and we're going to be looking for a minimum of 2240 RPMs on the takeoff. Uh, To-go items are complete. Now, anytime you're taking off an airplane, you want to apply max power. So here we go, lined up on the Second runway, tower, inbound slowly inbound. advance my power, max power, takeoff power set, engine instruments are cross-checked. Okay. Continue inbound, expecting runway Air speed's alive. And at 65, I'm going to start a slow rotation. So here we go, 65. Boom, and we're off the ground, just like that. Now we're going to pitch for 80. 80 knots. And in a traffic pattern, you want to turn your crosswind 300 feet below traffic pattern altitude. So I'm going to turn my crosswind at 700 feet. Right now we're at 400, so we're still climbing. Spot one one, you can make a right on Kilo, south on Kilo, and the minute will be at your right. Just use caution, there is some aircraft feet. in the non-moving area. I'm starting the, my yeah. turn. I'm turning crosswind. And this is a right traffic Kilo, pattern on nine right, so that's why I'm making a right crosswind turn. Hammer right, and we'll be looking for the aircraft. Now this happens one eight, pretty fast, but as I'm turning right, crosswind, I'm already at a thousand feet, so I've got to start leveling Kilo, off, because you want to be right at pattern altitude. This is going to help everything else come together in the end. I'm at a thousand feet, I'm on crosswind, I'm pulling my power back to 2200. About 2200, 2250. Arch 266, runway 9 right, clear for the option. 9 right, clear for the option, 26 Victor. I'm at a thousand feet, I got 2200. I'm starting my downwind turn. I'm looking out the window because I want to look at the runway to make sure that I'm completely lined up with it, which I am. If I have my runway bugged, then I know that the bug at the bottom is going to be my downwind. What I like 
like to do is be at about 100 knots off downwind. I don't need to be any faster than that because then I've got to slow the airplane down in order to put flaps in. Here we go. Now I'm going to beam the numbers. So we'll go 1,800 on the power setting. All right, perfect. I'm already in the white arc, so I can start applying one notch of flaps. And now I'm going to pitch for 90. I'm looking out my window. I've got 90 on my speed. I'm starting a slow descent. It's about four to 500 foot per minute descent. That holds 90 knots when I have 1,800 on my power setting. When the runway is 45 degrees off my tail, then I'm going to start my base turn. I've already been cleared for the option, so I'm good. I don't have to make any radio call-outs at this time. So it's look, looking good, looking good. Base is behind him for 542. Perfect. All right, let's start our base turn. Here we go. And you want to keep 90 knots all the way around the turn because you want to keep your descent going. That way you don't end up high on your final. There we go. Now I've completed my base turn. I'm going to add one more notch of flaps. I can give a little bit of trim. I'm letting the speed bleed off to 80. 80 on a base. And now I'm going to pitch for 80, which gives me a descent. All right. This is looking perfect. It really is looking good, guys. All right. Time to turn final. It happens that fast. So we're about 600 feet turning final right now. I'm going to keep 80 all the way around on my final turn. And look at that, guys. Wouldn't you know, two white over two red. Perfect. Here we go. Let's level out. We'll go ahead and start applying our third notch of flaps. Just like that. And then we can trim as we need. And now my speed for final is going to be 75. Here we go. I came off of my power just a little. So I've got my final notch of flaps, gas, undercarriage, mixture prop, seat belt. My landing checklist is complete. Now you can make small adjustments to your power to keep whatever you have to do to keep the two white over two red. I got the runway made at this point. I'm just going to keep the descent going down. I got 75 knots. I'm spot on. And then I don't need to dump the power. I can just start easing back on the power. Everything's smooth in the airplane. Here we go. Here we go. Keep the nose off. Hold the nose off. Hold the nose off. Hold the nose off. Hold the nose off. There we go. Okay. Take my flaps out. Advance my power. And at 65, I'm going to start another slow rotation. And just like that, we're off the ground.